I'm back with my digital twin, Jason, and we're focused here on making sure that there's the agility the CSPs need to fully take advantage of 5G. Absolutely, Michael. So we're really talking about Nokia's strategy in terms of delivering everything as a service, and the first step of that is really software as a service. So this is how we can help communication service providers provide a lot more flexibility uh, to reduce operational complexity overall as they're starting to deliver all types of new services in their market when it comes to 5G. And as we've been learning here at the Mobile World Congress 2022, it's all about partnerships. Quantel is one of the partners here for Nokia. Yuka joins us now. What are you hearing about 5G as the buzz continues to build? Yeah, it's, it's great to see all the innovation here. Again, face to face in a conference. And uh, we see lots of uh, operators going for the, for the 5G in new areas like, uh, let's say, automotive, uh, industrial automation, uh, virtual reality, and, and uh, many other areas. And when they go to new business domains and, and new service innovations happen, it's, it's simply needing more flexibility. And, and that's why we, Quantel, as partner of Nokia, we are rolling out the no-code uh, BSS, which means that we give the control and flexibility for telcos, because in 5G you'd really need it. Those business support systems that need to be brought in for partners who may not be in the telecom industry in the first place are critical, particularly that they're cloudified, but also they may not have the expertise in cloud, and that's where your no-code solution comes in. Uh, yeah, so I think definitely with Nokia we have a ready-made, pre-integrated uh, 5G monetization solution for telcos. Uh, but also, not only the cloud, but we, we emphasize the need for enabling telco business teams and also IT teams to really do the changes and innovations on the spot for, for new service areas. So that's, that's the kind of new thing. So instead of, uh, let's say, long months or weeks taking projects with the business vendors, now we want to enable and empower telcos to have more visual tools and control for uh, innovating the customer journeys, processes, business rules, and, and really now have ability to go ahead in those new 5G uh, business domains and use cases. And that's the critical part, Jason, because we want to bring these partners in, we want to be able to give them the software they need, almost like a marketplace. Absolutely, and it's really important, and as Yuka just said, right, there's lots of different verticals here, and the service providers right now are actually extending um, their capabilities in terms of what different types of markets they can address beyond just the consumer services, but into enterprise as well. And having that flexibility from those solutions allows them to really kind of accelerate that time to value for the services that they're offering. What about the acceleration of the service in the first place? What are some of the hurdles you've managed to overcome over the last year? Well, I think last year we have been succeeding well in, in uh, you know, telling the story for telcos that, hey, for 5G innovation, you need to have more flexibility and also tools and control for yourself. And uh, now, now we have succeeded in that and rolling out uh, real implementations and seeing in, in real life that, uh, how that uh, delivers the results. Yuka, thank you so much. Thank you. And Jason as well, thank you. Thank you, Michael. We're at Mobile World Congress 2022. I'm Michael Hainsworth.